the fact that you did write your own stuff. Now, I was surprised that you, you, because I did, I expected then to see um, all I wanted you to be written by you guys. But was there, it, what was the difference? Um, why yeah. you, you guys aren't the writers of this one, or was it just because okay, it was a, too good of a song to? Like, we'll just take, take it as a as our sort of coming out party, or two things can be true, right, y'all? <laughs> Um, first, yeah, we didn't even know, uh, to be totally honest with you, we, our producer, Mark, well, tell them how, how did that came up somebody? Y'all know how it happened. How it happened well, was. I have been begging <laughs> for <laughs> us to work with Marcus, uh, the, the, the heat miser, the heat miser, D-A-H-E-A-T. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, for, for years, for quite some time, um, he's a quote unquote brother to Nikki and I, and now he's adopted Aaron. Um, and he's just a really phenomenal producer. He's from Detroit and we wanted to kind of in the RE again, rebrand ourselves with, um, someone who was, uh, I want to say connected to what's happening right now. Right. Um, not that we don't, not that we can't write because the three of us are creatives. So it's not that we can't write, but we know that he knows the sound for the right now moment. And so okay. we trust him enough to give us a sound that would be um, a rebranding or a revitalizing of Brownstone. Um, still tapping into who we are, not losing, you know, who we are. Definitely the foundation of mm -hmm. Brownstone but kind of capitalizing on that for what's going on in the industry right now. You still, you know, we, we're hearing people say that R&B is dead, R&B is dead, R&B is dead. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, and we're here to prove that it is not. So the reason we kind of went with Marcus, you know, doing the whole package for because we trusted him, um, trusted him enough to give us what we needed to come out again. But please believe the pen will be on the paper <laughs> when you hear the next song or the next, the next, all of the next songs to follow. So that's kind of the reason why we chose him. Um, and it's been, it's been a long time coming. Uh, Marcus Devine has done so much stuff for, for Nikki um, with a lot of her productions back in the day. He produced some really amazing songs and we just trusted his ear. We trusted his sound. We trusted how he produces. And, you know, here he is right now on his way out on the Millennium Tour. He's producing his 15 acts on the tour. He's doing six of them. So, mm -hmm. you know, the guy knows what he's doing. As you can see, the numbers are constantly going up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Did, was, was there ever a temptation to go back to, to say, Dave Hall or Gordon Chambers and say, hey, come on, you know, let's rediscover that magic from, from the bottom up? Yeah, be before we answer that question, can okay. I pull my church finger up? Go ahead. So um, Aaron has something really important that she has to do. Tisha and I are more than willing to stay on. But if you have any more questions of Aaron, you want to um, get those? I, I hate that. I'm sorry. But yeah, she... <laughs> no, but for Aaron, just, just from your... I mean, from what do you... You know, for the fans who are, are are going to probably get to see and hear you for the first time, what is it that you would want to tell them um, to look out for? I think, um, first of all, Brownstone fans are really great at feedback. <laughs> 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 they are <laughs> not short of any feedback at all. Okay, let's be clear. And so... It took me a while, boom, boom, boom. it took me a while and it took them a while to not, um, to realize that I wasn't replacing Maxi, but that I was um, bringing my own authentic self to the group. And once they realized, and I said it, it's like the last year and a half, it's been welcome with open arms. And so my sound is, Nikki and Tisha sometimes say it's similar, it's lighter, um, vibrato kind of, more um, that kind of style. And sultry is what probably the word <laughs> I'll use, sultry. That's the word that I've been, that's the feedback that I've gotten, um, which is fine, which is wonderful, actually. Um, but I would just, just expect them to know that um, I would, my goal is to maintain the brand, the legacy, the songs, the catalog, all of those things, I'm not coming into like, 
you know, switch things around, but I am coming to bring my own self, insert my own self, my own style and everything that I have into the group to make it special for this version of the group. Yeah. This is different, but in different, it doesn't mean that it's um, quality isn't the best or quality goes down. It just means that it's different. And the quality remains because we are all very much focused on the highest quality, which goes back to teach is why we said we use Marcus Divine for everything. We heard it. It was wonderful. Okay, let's record it. Record it in one day because it was just like that kind of chemistry with the song and which rarely happens. And then now it's charting on. Now we're number one. We were number one in the UK a few minutes ago, I think. Um, Yeah, on Amazon, we were like, oh, wow, that's crazy. Right. You're like really like downloading this song. Hey, you <laughs> so, so it's all proven that, you know, what the, the vision that we had, the vision that Nikki had, the vision that Tisha had, the vision that I had to all to, to really put our efforts in here and do this and rebrand, refresh, be be new again. Um it's working and it's it's working in a major way. We we can't dictate who likes the song. We just put it out there or even likes brownstone the new version of it but people will tell you if they do and you know the success of this single allows us to see that people are saying yes we love this and actually that's the feedback and you don't know who's singing what but Aaron is actually leading this track Aaron (laughs) and then Tisha and then I come in a little little bit here and there but yeah Aaron Tisha and 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 you know yeah, it's a beautiful thing. We've had a lot of time that well, not a lot of time, but we've had a decent amount of time to spend creatively and, and really late into our sound together. So Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if you have to leave. I mean it's 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 a fine because hopefully we do get the video so that we, we can start to see you are. because that, that does make the <laughs> most well, definitely still get the video. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for being part of Halftime Chats. Um, this new update is really about our membership and I'm really excited to be able to fully launch the membership page. There will be things like full interviews from day one. As soon as the interview drops, you get access to it without any ads on it. Um, there'll be some exclusive member-only videos that will just be some behind-the-scenes stuff and some other things that we will never be broadcast. Um, for some members, you can be able to get actually two interviews because we do have, I do have a backlog of almost two or th- seven or eight interviews that I don't even know when I'm going to be able to broadcast them. So you're able to get at least some of those up front and, um, and some, some, ex- some just behind the scenes stuff. Cause there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that I have never been able to, to, to talk about or release, um, for anyone else, you know, what the videos will still be the same um over f- over a week or a week and a half or two weeks depending on how long it is um so everything stays the same the polls stay the same the community chats the community stuff stays the same but i think with the membership stuff i'm able to add a little bit more and invest a lot more time and energy in in in, in, in really supporting the members so i do hope you come on that ride with me i appreciate the support and um, this will just help me continue to invest in taking things to the next level. Take care.